Hey Stampers, Gina again and it's getting to that time of year now when people are wanting things for craft fairs, Christmas craft fairs especially. Um, I did this one about two years ago but I've adjusted it now and added another little section to it to make it a little bit nicer. And I think they're just, they're so cute. You can just literally throw these out in a, not long at all. Once you've got your pair of card stock stuck, uh, cut to size. It's using little calendars, which are getting ready now for 2020. So you can buy these in the range, in packs of 10. I think they're a pound, maybe one pound 50. I mean, you can't go wrong. 15 pence each, your card stock, a bit of DSP, nice little bit of stamping. And um, you've got a wicked, wicked craft fair idea. So, and I think they would just fly off the shelves because I'm also using the post-it notes. Um, so it's a little post-it note, it's a little desk organiser. It will hold your calendar, your post-it notes and a business card or uh, a gift card. So it, it rolls in and you can put a panel on the back and write who it's to and from. I haven't done that one on mine yet, but this is how cute they are. Oh, they are in a little cellophane bag. This is the business card holder or, or gift card holder. This is the calendar, but it folds up like an easel card. I have sealed it now like a silly sausage. Um, but we've always, we oh, should always put the opening at the bottom. That way people don't have to destroy the topper at the top. But I just stabbed that. Look at that little chick. And it's got glitter on his little. It's just so cute. And the set is called Birds of a Feather. Oh, so adorable. Absolutely. Oops. And some sequins. But you've got love for Valentine, you've got enjoy the season for Christmas, you've got a Christmas message there, give thanks, and then you've got the little birdie here for trick or treat. It's entirely up to you. You can put anything you want on this card. I, I think I did this about two years ago with the Daisy Punch, which uh, was still in circulation <laughs> and is still available to buy. So if you want to do them in the summertime or, or just after Christmas, I've got my little gems ready to go on there. I've got a little stars and everything. So um, we're, I'm going to change up the colours. The card stock is... Oh, the DSP, sorry, is Let It Snow. So I'm changing... It. You just need a normal cello bag that will fit and a standard size card. So I get these from eBay. I think I pay about £16 for a thousand of them. So because I have so many cards. And make so many cards it pays for me to get them in bulk so i've got my little ticket again which has got my name and address and i'm just going to put on there hand made by and then obviously my info and then oh one seven nine two four one eight one six my home phone number because I don't use my mobile so it's got gainer boys stamp with joy and then my address and I live at that I live in the UK and then I can seal the entrance off afterwards but I'm not going to open it now to show you the inside but there are some little pink note post-it notes in there um, you don't have to give extra measurements to both you know it's just going to sit on somebody's desk where it's finished so but what a cute little process and because we're changing the DSP, I've got to change my ribbon. I haven't got to, but I'm, I am. Because it won't go otherwise with my DSP I've chosen. And then we're doing this one in Coastal Cabana. So you can manipulate your little bows while you're hand tying them. Because this is the, the Granny Apple Green and the Coastal Cabana combination ribbon. You know, the reverse ribbon. How sweet is that? I'm getting good at this bow tying thing, I? Practice makes perfect. It's only taken me four years. <laughs> <laughs> four years, oh gosh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There we go. And I'll adjust the tails accordingly eight later on. So we've got our post-it notes, we've got our calendar. We've got our cello bag, we've got our ribbon, we've got our gems, I've got my ticket to close. We're going to make an extra one of these now, they're so easy. 
I have got my Coastal Cabana. This one measures 11 by 4 and 1 8. If you're American, you can do it 11 by 4 and a quarter. That way you don't have to skim off that. Uh, and you can get two to each one. I've got a piece then which is, oh, what's the size? Is three and three quarters, sorry, that way, by four and five eighths. But this is going to be the bit that goes on the top. To, so we're going to add our business card. This one then is going to be where our little calendar lays on. And that is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I used Wink of Stella around the outside. I used the ice crystals on there. I even went round the circle um, with Wink of Stella as well as round that side. You could pop a little pencil in there as well if you could find one the same length as your bag. And then they've got somewhere to scribble on as well. You can give a little Christmas pencil. So that's going on there. And then your DSP, you're going to need a piece that is three and seven eighths by five and three eighths because your card base is when folded will be a five and a half so if you want to do it american style you could do it four and a five and a quarter instead of me i want small um borders and then you need two pieces and i'm going to reverse one so i've got my reverse one and then my contrasting one with the base and these both measure uh, two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And then this piece is four and three quarters by two. And this is going to make our lovely little topper at the top. And then I've got a two and a quarter circle and a two inch circle, which I just punched with my punches. And I'm uh, getting ready to be sharpened. I think they'll all need a sharpen. And then we're going to stamp that beautiful little birdie. Or you could do any one of the characters on there. It's entirely up to you. But because these are for Christmas fairs, I'm going to do that little birdie with his little hat again. And this time he's going to have... Um, I don't think we've got Coastal Cabana, have we? In our blends. I'm not sure. Let me have a look. No, I don't... Uh, well, they may have come out, but I haven't bought them. No, so... I'm going to swap his little hat from red and I'm going to give him a Bermuda Bay one, I think. Or a, a light Call Me Clover, even. Let's have a look what this looks like. Let's grab a piece of scrap. Oh, yes, that's nice. That's really cute, actually. I quite like that, pretty much goes, doesn't it? So his little ch chicken hat is going to go in that colour. So, we're going to need our scoreboards. We're going to score this, this and this. So let's pop these to one side. They're not too hard to do. What, like I say, get your card stock cut. Um... And then this was two inches by four and three quarters. So just score this down the centre at one inch. And then you can pop this over. And then we're going to round off the corners, do some little patterns. Oops, excuse me. Just had my tea. So that's that one. This one you're going to start on the long side. And you're going to score half an inch on three sides. And I've got here, well it's a two inch punch, but I don't know, I don't want the two inch one. I want to swap it for the one and a half. Because we're going to pop this in. Make sure you've got a good dip. You only want it about a quarter of the way down. And just pop out a thumbnail. Then when we put our DSP on, we can go back in before we attach it and remove it from the back. So keep your punch handy. And this one is so easy, easy, easy. It's unreal. You can even fold it if you want to. But you're just going to score this at five and a half. And two and three quarters. And it's going to fold when she doesn't drop it. Making sure your ends are lined up. 
And then what we're going to do then, we're just going to fold this as well. Just making sure it's lined up. Cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. And that's where we get our little easel from. No need to add anything on there because it's going to get caught on here. Let me pop this away. So we're going to add designer series paper. And it's up to you which way round you want it. This has got some sparkle on it on the long the hats. don't know if you can see that in the light. Can you see that? Yeah, just about there, look. So it's entirely up to you which way round you want this. So that go is going to get layered on there. And then our post-it notes are going to get glued down there. And then this tucks behind. When she says it will, honestly, it's just me. I've burnished it too well, so that will sit like that. How cute! So the business card will be at the back, or if you choose, you can have it on the front. But I'm gonna have my calendar on the front because I will use the calendar will get used on a <laughs> on a daily basis. If it's sitting on somebody's desk, nice and neat, on there after we've added our DSP. How cute does that look? Isn't that cute? But we're going to glue the paper down and we're going to add dimensionals on here. You could get um, a piece of scrap then and punch out some sprigs if you wanted to, to add behind. But I mean, it's going to be a Christmas gift to somebody. But it's going to be on all year round one, so it's up to you. You can keep them quite neutral if you don't want them, but we're doing it for a Christmas card theme. So let's get our glue out. They're just so cute. I love them. Making sure you've got glue, especially by the corners. You don't want this lifting up. So cute, the papers. Whoops, come on. So, nice little border. Top and bottom and down the bottom. Perfect. Just give them a squishy. You could add designer series paper on there if you want, but it's not going to be opened, really. It's going to just stand up. So, we're going to... Oh, I'm not adding that yet because it's going on there. I'm just going to add this piece. So, we're going to... I'm going to try and do about five projects over the next oh how many weeks have we got to Christmas oh good god do we really want to think about that <laughs> <laughs> but mind you most people start doing their craft uh, fairs October November and then into December so if I can do say oh I don't know let me set myself a not a huge task because I don't want to dedicate myself to something and then not be able to perform, but yeah, yeah, I will. Maybe three a week, right up until December the 1st. So just place this, give yourself a nice little even border either side, and keep it away from there. So that is starting to look cute already. You could add more post-it notes if you want. And then that little, cute little post-it note is going to go on there. Not even a post-it note, is it? It's a calendar. So after you've got things together and decided what you're going to do, it takes about an hour and you're thinking, oh. And then you do a video and it lasts for a few minutes. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to rush too quickly. So give yourself a nice little border. Press that down. I prefer the stitched ones because somebody could pull one off and 
not realise that the second one is underneath. So, you know, they're really they're quite, uh, they're only glued at the top. So, <clears throat> right, I'm going to do some dimensionals for this. And I'm just going to pop one at the top, two either side at the bottom. If you want to, you can add loads if you want, but I don't see the point when it's just going to be popped onto here. Don't they look cute? Oops. So yeah, we are all we all love to go to a craft fair. I'm gonna have to get some marshmallows and some. I've got some food safety bags, but just add that then. Nice little neat border, and look how cute that looks. Isn't that just perfect? You could have a little tiny pencil, or you could add a pencil inside the bag, or a pen even. It's entirely up to yourselves. So, now for this piece. It's basically going to be like a little tuck spot area. Just trim out your corners. And then we can fold and burnish. What I did with my little business card, it's not mine, it was for Bumblebee, Bumbleberry Crafts. And I added, because I didn't want it, because it was short, I didn't want it to go all the way down the bottom and not be able to get it out. So I had a piece of Whisper White, which was cut about two and a half by three and a quarter with the stitched Ed framelits. And I glued the business card onto that so they can pull it out. You could add a little bit of a tassel if you wanted to. So now we're going to choose our DSP. I'm going to pop that on there. And then before we um, go from behind, we before we glue it on, we're going to cut that off. So let me just do my corner things. I like to do this. Because I can hold them in place just for a minute. It's easier for me when I come to glue it and, you know, trying to put flaps down and, ugh. So they are well cute. In fact, you could keep it all exactly the same, but look at my trees going the wrong way. I had two pieces. That one should have gone there and that one should have gone there because the trees were the right way round. It wasn't until after I glued it I realised I'd picked the wrong piece up. Still looks cute no matter what. Oh, I'm going to put a bit of glue up the top. I don't need it up there. I mean, you could... Oh, they, they should take pence to make, but, you know, you could sell these for £2 on a craft fair. Easy. All day long. Maybe £2.50. I might just be in too cheap. <laughs> so we've cut that out perfectly, and it's lined up nicely really cute and then this just gets glued on top of that section there it don't worry about the score line because it's bending up it's not going to stop it oh you've come undone whoops don't go underneath again you'll end up gluing it flaps down you won't be able to get anything then you're out and I've done it again. <laughs> oh, right. Take your time. Excuse me a second. That's it. Let's spin this around. If you want, you can just turn it over and lay it flat making sure you've got it all the way down at the back, all the way down at the sides, and then just give that a little burnish so you know it's uh, going in. You could even put a gift card in there. Mine is just a little fraction. Yeah, the other one didn't do that for some reason. 
perhaps I didn't cut my card straight but it's not going to appear on it anyway because it's just folding back so isn't that cute so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a scrap of white I think this should be wide enough oh look at that it's perfect just the right amount if you want to go and put the stitch round you can I'm going to slot that in there because of that um, it, it does go all the way down to the bottom it's just there we go and I'm just leaving it onto the edge so you could either write on there if you wanted to gift card section or business card section it's entirely up to you what you want to put on there I may even go and let me just have a look let's see if our stitched dies are going to look cute that's going to be too small is it that one I may even it's going to be too wide that one is it's definitely that one isn't it yeah or is it the next one because don't forget it cuts from the in the inner side it's that one because it doesn't cut the outside it's the one that's on the inside so this is too big so let's pop that to one side I'm going to just cut that out, get my little machine to do it, let me just trim that down, whoops I've got stuff everywhere here, I'm going to cut that down to, let me see what that is, oh that's okay, I'm going to cut this down to three because my machine will only take three inch wide and what was the length about four and a quarter so if I take that down now to four and a quarter these pieces can go in my little scraps bin because I never let that go to waste I know I'm very frugal like that and then I can grab my little I just want it all to match see want it to look nice if you're going to go to the effort you might as well look make it look absolutely gorgeous so that piece fits on there perfectly oh that was a twang wasn't it hey <laughs> at least we know it's cut Oh, is it though? I don't think it has cut that end. Oh, right, get back in. And do it again. Find oh, that piece there, it wasn't caught. Now it has. Perfect. Oh, she's say, oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Oof. There it is, it's out. There's my piece. That's what I wanted. Oh, I love this cute little machine. Stop face my back. Now this is going to fit in there beautifully. When I can get it to it. That's it. It will. It's just catching on the bottom flap. There we go. Oops. There we go, it's in. Oh, how cute. So you could attach your business card in there if you were doing, if you were a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You could uh, pop your information in there, your business card. So the person who gets the, uh, the gift knows who made it. This is why I've put my little ticket on the back.
How, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. Cuteness overload. So, I'm just making sure this is clean. How adorable. And it's the first time I've played with that stamp set as well. How adorable. Oh my goodness. So his little star, I am going to do in yeah, um, yellow, which is the, the dark pineapple punch. It's the only one I had. I had it from on stage. You could use Daffodil or Delight if you wanted to. And then my little... Oh, do you know what I forgot to do before? It's, if you noticed, I haven't done his beak. So I'm going to do this one's little beak in pumpkin pie. How sweet. Yeah, completely forgot that one. And then his little hat is going to be in the green instead to match. Well, it's not going to match bang on, but it will look quite cute. That is so sweet. So adorable. I've forgotten where to put it then. All right, so I'm going to go in my dark first. And just where the lines are. Under his wing. Under his little beak. And under his hat. And I'm just going to do the tops of his wings. tip that is adorable you could leave it like that it's so cute if I scroll down a bit just so you can see watch how cute he turns out now and then just blend the light in there with it I just went over twice. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, how cute is this little birdie? How sweet. So, I got my ice crystals. I'm just going to use a little bit of I used the Cosmic Shimmer, but it took ages to go off, even though I'd added. I'm just having a little bit of art glitter glue. There we go. I've got a scrap to catch the bits. And then I'm just going to sprinkle these on. I like to press that in. I'm with your... Well, let me just pull that back in there before I lose it all. How sweet. I mean, you don't have to do this if you don't want. You can just use, uh, what's it called? Wincastella, but I think it's just worth the effort. And you can push any of those little crystals that are out, on, hanging over into the glue before it dries. So it's contained just to his hat and his little bauble on the end. How adorable is that? Look how cute that is. The light catching. Oh, it's just... Oh, I forgot to do his little star. Again, again, what you like. And it 
does dry clear, so don't need to worry. Just pat it in and knock off the excess. And then again, with your pokey tool, just make sure it stays in the star. adorable so let's get that back in our tub again if you wanted you could do this around instead where I've added the Winker Stella you could add that around here and then around the outside of here even let's we have a go at that once we've attached it so let's keep those bits out that little star I know you can't see the yellow yet but when the glue dries bone dry you'll see the star because I did it on this one so let's attach. How how gorgeous is this? I mean, if you want it just for quickness, then use just your Winker Stella. That is so cute. O M G. any stragglers and now again let's go just around the outside I'm going to use the side so I'll make sure I spread all that glue can you see oh sorry let me zoom back out again gain is terrible forgets to zoom back out quick as well gainer because this let's just do half at a time because it does dry quickly and I'm just patting it in and again I can move those away from where they're meant to be your finger out just do it I'm just going to do a little section at a time oh it's a lot better actually if I do just doing a bit of a small section I'm just going to go over that bit there because it, it's uh wasn't locking full enough. Just give it a pat. Perfect. I know it seems a bit of a pain in the bum, but I think it's worth it. I mean, if you're doing loads of them, then I wouldn't. But these are just for display. I don't do craft fairs, and I don't tend to go to them either because it's the travel for me. Don't have any girlfriends down here who could take me either. Mr. Boyce would have to enjoy it with me, bless his soul. He wouldn't mind. used to take me to on stage. Oh, bless his soul. And then sit in the car all day. So I've got that all the way around the outside now. That is cute as a button. Like I'm saying, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I think it's worth the effort. I'm just removing just a big clumpy bit 
and that's the stuff that's stuck on the white. Just giving it a press. Just keep your finger round as well. It's cute. Oh my goodness. You can use your fine tip glue pen if you want. And she's just watered down crystals of X. Or a glossy accent, should I say. Oh, that's so cute. Right, I'm going to get some dimensionals on the back of there. Oh, actually, I glued the other one flat. Mm, never mind. This one's going on dimensionals. doing oh and my this, these are adorable I love them so let's pop that closed just for a, let me oh don't put it face down <laughs> what am I like I've just taken the backings off I'm not going to do it round. I'll just add Wink of Stella around the calendar, but and then we can just pop this in the centre there. This gorgeous little chick. How adorable is that? Oh my goodness! Sparkly, beautiful, so cute. So that's what it's going to look like inside the card, and then. Obviously, you can add your, like I say, your business details in there. If you're running a business, you could add a gift card if you were giving it to a loved one. But if you're going to sell these on craft fairs, just put your business card in there. This will stand up on anyone's desk, and I'm sure they would really, really, truly enjoy that. Scrumptious. So, we've got our topper. Let's just pop the glue on this. We don't need this for a minute. In fact, I don't think we need it again. So I literally rounded the corners off all four and then pressed into this. Again, I think it's worth the effort. And then spin it to I mean, you can just do it to the front if you want, but uh, while we're here, might as well. How cute. It more or less matches the other side. Like I say, your bag's going to be in between you, so. Now, I need some tape. And we are just going in between those where we've cut. You don't want to put your tape over the top. Perfect. And the other side. Because this is universal now, it'll go either way round. Perfect. And now for our cello bag, I'm going to put this in, so this bit it then becomes to the back of the card. Oh, wait there, get the wink of Stella, because we haven't done that around here, we can just basically add some sparkle on here. I mean, if you thought that was too fussy, then just use the wink of Stella. Because that's what I did on the first one. Again, I forgot to shake her pan. That 
is so adorable. Love that. That is so cute. Look, it's got all our dazzles everywhere. Now look, this is even on the hats. It's on around there. So I'm going to pop. I'm going to make sure my flap. This one is at the in front. And I'm just going to slide this in. Turn it over and then just push it to the end where it joins. Remove this uh, sealer. And then I'm just going to lift this over. Try not to crease it. And then we've got an inch at the top then. Hence the reason our topper is two inches. So we can add that right at the top and it glues all the way down so I've just shifted that all the way down to the very bottom and then we can remove our tape and add that on there how cute is that going to look so it's exactly the same width so remove the back in What I did, I like to do this first to make sure without getting st stuck. I'm just going to add that to make sure I've got either side perfectly level. When I know it's uh, in place, I'm just going to fold that one over and then flip that one, remove the back, and just fold it over and then. If you look now, we've got that perfectly right at the bottom. And there uh, again, right, nothing is showing apart from those little bits on your bag now. Absolutely fabulous. So, I'm going to add... Oh, I forgot to put my star in there. Oh, it's too late now. Or is it? Because we haven't put that ticket over the hole. And just put... Two little gems and our bow is going on there as well. So you're going to choose the best side. I'm going to go with this side because it's all showing the same colour. Don't want that tucking under there. There we go. If I turned it over, see the tails would be different. And then that is going to get popped on there. You can leave them long, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to use a little bit of tape. I always use tape on the back of my bows, as you know. Especially those of you who've been following me for a long time. Perfect. I'm just going to centralise this now and pop that, uh, say in the middle, and because my tape runs all the way across, it's keeping that beautiful. Now you can choose to keep it that width, you know, and just snip off, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to take it down a little bit shorter, because I don't want to distract from that gorgeous little cute birdie. about even. That is so cute. I just need to get in there now and put my star on because I'm not doing things half-hearted. So I can't do it on that one to open it and show you because I've got my my ticket across it uh, which would rip in half. Is They are so mega sticky. It's unreal. So I'm just going to pull that out just, just just enough. To get my stars. And pop that one right there. Oops. And then I can push that back in. right at the end I fold that oh I've got a crease in it now come on Peter 
and no creases. So. That's better. Yay, I didn't want to do it half-hearted. And then there we have it. There are those cute gift card holders or um, business card holders with our calendar and sticky notes. Absolute perfect. They are adorably cute. You get a pack of 10, like I'm saying. Uh, they sell them on Amazon, the range, all sorts of places. So for me, these will be a, uh, a weekly prize. And if whoever gets this one, can you send me the... <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'll get another Bumbleberry Craft uh, business card. Just smooth that down. So it was handmade by me. My address is there as well. My telephone number's there. If you want to... I added a glue dot under that one because it wanted to keep kicking up like that. But you could always add a glue dot under either one of them but, th but that one's well behaving so there is my little project for you for today how cute do you, would you do these would you make them for yourselves to go on craft fairs or would you give them out as gifts you could even fold money and pop that in there and give it as a as a, a little money wallet as well so how cute are they love them which is your favourite as well? I think they're both stinking gorgeous. Absolutely adorable. So, there you go. There's my project for today. Thank you for watching and sticking with me to the end. Thanks for staying for the premiere. I would love a thumbs up and a share. That would be absolutely mega. And yeah, come back and see what I make tomorrow. And if you've not subscribed already, please do. Press the bell as well because I post every single day. So... Don't forget to press the bell, that way you'll get a notification. So, till next time, love y'all. Bye.